There's the whistle. It is underway. The kick is in the air. Long, floating kick. Going to Smoot at the five-yard line. Smoot directly up the center of the field. Swings to the right now. Being chased by Mickey Lee and pulled down at the 13-yard line. Lenny Longo going in probably as a messenger service at one of the guard spots from Jerry Clover. No score. The clock moves with 13.35 left to play in the first period. Now Ken K fakes to one man, hands it up to the second man, who comes up the middle and gets only a yard. It was his fullback, a 218-pounder from Crittenden, Bert Henderson. Third down. A long five to go. And Alabama puts the slot formation with Eddie Morgan on the slot left. Joe Kelly drops back. He wants to throw. He goes to Jellaba at the third of the 50. Jellaba is banged out of bounds at the VPI. 45-yard line, and it will be close to a first down. We'll have to see where the ball is spiked in by the officials. Alabama on the march. From the I formation, Fowler wide to the right side. Jellaba the up back, the full back. Long count. The, the ball is kept by Kelly and fumbled back at the 49-yard line. He recovers it himself. Is quickly covered by Tucker and Harvey a tackle. Kelly with wide men left and right. Long count. Kelly rolls to his left. Takes one time. He is going to keep it himself. He gets to the 43. About a six-yard pickup. Frank Kamer came up from his right side back spot. He's a two-year letterman for Virginia Tech. Swafford is flipped to the left, and this time George Reiniger, the sophomore sensation from Meridian, wide to the right. Kelly on a rollout. Again, drops the ball. Picks it up. He got a good bounce. He's rolling to his right. He's going to run and be tackled back at the 48-yard line as Pete Goyot from Syosset, New York, simply would not be taken out of the play. <laughs> Count of play to the wing back. The wing back, Longer beam, comes to the right side, gets to the 25, fights his way to the 26. Flag on the play. Swafford is at the other one, and Swafford is a split end to the right. Fowler flank left. Joe Kelly again operating it. Chapin is in there at fullback. Long count by Joe Kelly. He fakes, now hands, he keeps himself, and is swarmed under back at the 49-yard line on this uh, offensive set for the Gobblers. Here's Ken K taking and handing to Smoot, and Smoot is cut it down about a four-yard loss. People in the secondary to cover their receivers. Here's the handoff and a fumble by L Emil, and I believe Alabama has recovered. Lanager to the right. Kelly takes, dropping back. He is hit and pulled down at the 29-yard line. A shooting linebacker thundered through Mike Widger for Benny Shalasi. Holding will be Kelly. Here's the snap. It's placed down. The kick is in the air, and it is short and to the left. No good. So the Gobblers from Virginia Tech get held. With 407 left, they'll take over. Coming out is sophomore Del Vicio over the ball. He takes, fakes the count to the night. His hands to smooth. Smoot is hit by Billy Scroggins and pulled down at the 20-yard line. Billy Scroggins is a one daughter senior. I believe that Kincaid's five-yard run is the best one that the Gobblers have managed to manufacture. Sam Sack in deep point formation takes. He boots it. Gets a fine kick this time and calling for a fair catch at the 34-yard line and taking it in is Johnny Sutton. All over that bread by VPI thus far. The split backfield. Kelly takes. Drops straight back. Takes one time. Throws. Completed at the 49-yard line to Conrad Fowler, and he's down. First down for Alabama. First down for Alabama at their own 49-yard line. Kelly, a short flank of the left. Fumble, and I think Kelly recovered his own fumble. It, it went forward a little bit to the 50. Let's see the preliminary indication by a VPI player was that VPI had gotten it, and VPI did get it. Now Ken Kate is called on Mosley. Wayne Owen goes over to pick up the receiver, spin out pass, Kincaid looks at Mike Ford, runs him down again, losing about three yards. Third down, 13 call from their own 46-yard line. Uh, might have been motion there for VPI. Kincaid is hit as he goes back to pass, the entire Alabama forward wall, led by Mike Hall and Sandy Gellisette. Credit from offensive problems to this fine Virginia Tech defense, Jerry Cleveland's middle name. From a split backfield. A draw play for the handoff going to Jellaba. Jellaba is just shy of the first down, it appears, at the 29-yard line. Hardy and Widger, the two of Alabama's fine new sophomores, Ned Hayden and Larry Helm, are both uh, having injury problems, and we're certainly sorry about that. Kincaid on a spin out pass. It's trapped behind the line of scrimmage and pulled down. But a fine defensive play by Randy Bowen at the 31-yard line. Going back is deep sixties for Alabama. Sam Sack is deep. Alabama looks like they're not put another big rush. Here's the snap. 
He gets his kick away, and Sutton is going to take it under the 27-yard line. He comes up to the 40, down the far sideline, to the 50, to the 40, to the 30. He comes inside. He's hit, and he's tackled at the 12-yard line. Danny Sutton almost going all the way. 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 Matty Swafford, wide to the right side. George Rattiger is flanked to the right also. Scott Hunter sends men right, rolls to the right. He looks to throw, he does throw. Completes for a touchdown for George Rattiger in the end zone. Alabama goes up front, six to nothing. After a 60-yard run back of a punt, it's put Alabama close to Taylor. Ken Cade on a quarterback keeper rolls out. He is hit and knocked out of bounds right at the 30-yard line. Stoggins got him. They say his forward motion carried him to the 31. BPI has not picked up a first down here in the first half. Third and left the yard, and BPI comes out with a full house backfield. Kincaid takes. He hands to Henderson, his fullback. Henderson dives in there, and uh, it's going to be close enough for a measurement, I do believe. Eddie Carter going in as a defensive uh, linebacker for BPI. Second and six. Hunter drops back again to throw, and he's hit and dropped by middle guard Paul Ripley. Bobby Swafford is in there, and he's split to the right side. Ronnie Lavin is in there at center. Scott Hunter is directing the attack. And Hunter takes, takes his inside man, throws, completed to Ranniger at the 45. Ranniger to the 30, Ranniger to the 20, Ranniger to the 10, Ranniger all the way. George Ranniger on Hunter's real fine run that you will see. And puts the tie out front, 14 to nothing. Kushner is in. Ken K takes the Kushner, rolls right. He cannot get rid of the ball. And it's hit back at the 25-yard line. Mike Hall and Randy Bowen. Joe Kelly on second and eight, wide man, left and right. Kelly looks out to his man on the left. Long count, Kelly takes. Keeps himself and he's hit by Roddy Harvey, who submarine through and dropped him at the 19-yard line. So I know you want to stay tuned for that and hear the analysis of the statistics and the whole follow acts at halftime of Alabama football. Here's the snap to man, a big rush, and it's blocked by BPI. And the end zone, BPI recovers for a touchdown. John Fingal, our follow, was got to pick up the man who actually covered it out there. Back up as I'm walking around just a moment ago. Four seconds left, three seconds, and Scott Hunter will simply falls on the ball. And there is the end of the first half of play from Agent Field in Birmingham. The end of the half with the score, Alabama 14, Virginia Tech 7. We'll have halftime comments shortly. Ranniger has the two touchdowns for night, wide to the right. Scott Hunter is jumping, throwing, incomplete to Eddie Morgan at the 35-yard line. Wide man, left and right on a third down six play. Swabby takes, rolls back, he's got some time. He is throwing long and out of bounds. Intended for Dickie Longerbeam, who is one of his pizzas for the Virginia Tech team. Clock is out right now. We have just about 10 minutes left to play in the third period. On a third down eight play, Hunter going back. Hunter looks, Hunter throws, completed to the 35-yard line. Yep. Then it's Dixon, Dixon to the 45, Dixon to the 49-yard line in Virginia Tech territory. They always want to give the offensive line a lot of credit. Boys like Danny Ford, Charlie Ferguson, Alvin Sample, Richard Glamour, Junior Davis. The handoff goes to Eddie Morgan. Morgan will find second effort. Gets very close to the 40-yard line. It should be third and a long one to go. Third down, a long one to go. Hunter calls the signals. Long count. Looking at the BPI defense. He hands to Gulliver. Gulliver gets it and more as he slams across the 35 to the 34-yard line. Brownell hit him. Smith was there, too, but it's first down for Alabama. 
Dennis Dixon, strong side right. Matty Swafford very wide to the right. Third down, big play here, and Hunter wants to throw. He's working. He is throwing to Raniger and completed the goal line. And Raniger, who was double covered by Beamer and Smith, made a fine effort as he cut in to try to take that ball that hung in the breeze just a little bit. They will be hoping that the man can hang on and put Virginia Tech back deep. Here's a snap. Soft kick, but it's not soft enough. It's out of bounds. Out of bounds. As he hooked that out of bounds on the three-yard line. Virginia Tech puts the ball at their back. They trail 14 to 7 behind Alabama. Swabby to Longabane, who gets two, and that's all. And on third down, hurrying in goes Johnny Simsack, Mike Hall, and Bob Childs. Two fine senior linebackers made the stop. Alabama sends a single safety back, Tommy Wade. Here's a snap to Simsack. He bits it. Wade waits for it right at midfield. Takes it at the 49. Gets away from one man, cuts up the middle to the 40 to the 39 yard line. Puts Alabama an excellent field position. We'll have to estimate the time because the scoreboard clock is out. We'll estimate it about six minutes left to play in the third quarter. Hunter with time. Hunter throws to Raniger, completed to the 30 yard line. Raniger pulled it in with Frank Beamer very, very close to him. So no field goal will be considered. Scott Hunter takes. Hands to his fullback who does not make it, I do not believe. Bill Chapin, hit down by Davidson and Wedger on the entire forward wall. Slaughter is split wide to the left side. Here's his take by Swabby. Swabby fumbled the handoff, but recovered it himself. Lost it out two yards. Randy Baum was very close to him. Swafford splits to the right side. Conrad Fowler to the left. Joe Kelly, rolling back, looks, swings one up to Phil Chapin. Chapin to the 30. Chapin ducks his way up very close to that first down. Depends on where his knee hits the ground. Lonnie Rum comes in to snap the ball back. Man is only about 12 yards back this time. Here's the snap. The kick. Sort of an end over end. Hitting and taking a BPI bounce and is down by Alabama at the BPI 38 yard line. Bobby Swafford downed it to raise upwards of $30 million to bring excellence in education to Alabama. Here's the snap. Rolling back is Robbie. Swabby is trapped. He's in trouble and down by Randy Bowen at the 30-yard line. John, I've just been able to get a time check and down on the field. One minute of playing time remaining here in the third quarter with a score still 14 to 7, Alabama lead. And Tommy Wade and Dunny Sutton drop back to their own 20-yard line, waiting for the kick from Simsack. This time he will be kicking against the wind. Alabama put a pretty good rush, and they caused a short kick that is out of bounds, well upfield at about the 45-yard line, I believe. So it's second down, down from the 48-yard line. Scott Hunter dropping back. Has some time. Nice throws over the middle. Completed to Dennis Dixon to the 43, the 41 yard line goes Dennis Dixon, and it is the first down. Hunter from the I formation. Hands to Morgan, who cannot break a tackle as he tried to get outside. So he moves to the 34 to the 33 yard line. Here it is on a fourth down play. Jillaba is the fullback. Scott Hunter is the quarterback. Long count. Real long count, and Hunter fakes. Throws and the ball is knocked down. The big charging end, Joe Tucker. BPI Swabby drops back and Randy Bowen drops back with him and knocks him down. Jim Duke was back there to help him out. Joe Kelly, the senior from Ozark. Kelly on a drop back. Looks, throws, incomplete to George Raniger, who had beaten his man at the 45 yard line but couldn't hang on to it. Ronnie Rodham, Jr. from here in Birmingham, over the ball. Ron Davidson is a single safety. Man is back about 13 yards this time. Here's the snap. Not a big rush, but he got it away, but barely, but barely. Davidson takes it into the 24. Davidson's hit, gets away from one man, gets to the 35-yard line, and down. Dickie Longerbeam is the wide man to the left. Going out and throwing. Completed for a first down, perhaps, to Danny Cup was a pass right out of bounds in front of the Alabama bench. And that is the first first down of the evening at the 45 and a half yard line for the Gobblers. Power formation now as Swabby drops back. Takes one time, he's going to run, he's hit. Drop back at the line is coming, back at the 42 yard line. About eight minutes left to play in the football game. Simstack calls, good rush, gets away, and that's a good one. Finding kick. That will be down by BPI at the two-yard line. Fine play by the Virginia Tech Gobblers and Danny Cup as it took a great forward roll. 
Chapin is the outback. The official is looking at his clock. Joe Kelly drops back to throw. He's looking. He throws. Completed to Dennis Dixon, who gets it to the 11 yard line. It will be short on a first down. As both teams have been trying to generate offense. Defense has been seen a plenty. Mike Moore putting a rush, but the passer goes out and is completed to Smooth at the 50. Smooth into Alabama territory. Moves it down to the 44 yard line. That could indeed be a blow if, if Mike is, uh, is hurt. The wide man is longer being. That's the second first down of the night for VPI. They're in Alabama territory at the 45. Swabby throwing. It is intercepted by Mike Hall at the 32. And Mike Hall is out of bounds at the 35 yard line. Conrad Fowler wide to the right. Long count by Joe Kelly on a second and four. Here's a Kelly keeping himself. Circus left end. The 50. And the Virginia Tech territory at about the 48 yard line. Joe Kelly has Conrad Fowler out wide to the right. Third down five play. Kelly looks. He is trapped and hit behind the line of scrimmage at the 47 yard line. And the crowd of some 62,000 is pretty well milling for the exit. Swabby dropping back. Looks. Throws. Completed. And out of bounds at the 23 yard line. 14 to 7. Alabama leads. All the scoring came in the second quarter. Driving back is Swabby. He has some time. He throws. Intercepted by Roger Carlson. Carlson to the outside. Carlson to the 28-yard line. Roger Carlson is tackled by Henderson. Alabama takes over with about one minute left to go. They have the ball at the 28-yard line. 14 to 7. Third down and nine at the 27. Joe Kelly is tackled for a two-yard loss by Waddy Harvey. Here's a snap. Man takes it. And he's going to throw. He throws. Completed and dropped by Dennis Dixon. At the 22-yard line, 35 seconds left to go in the football game. Alabama out front, 14 to 7. Dropping back is Swabby. He's hit, gets away, gets away from another man, and is finally going to be pulled down. And he is at the 22-yard line. Run to the last play, third down. Dropping back is Swabby. Swabby throws, completed. He wants to pitch out. He takes the bat incomplete, and falling on the ball is Bert Henderson, the fullback, and that may wind things up. FBI trying desperately to hurry back in. They call signals. They take. They throw out of bounds. Joe Kelly is in there and simply falls on the ball to wind this football game up, and that should do it, and it does. At the end of the football game, the final score, Alabama 14, Virginia Tech 7. We'll have some final comments in just a moment. 